to the channel and i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine this lab is very lengthy and very confusing if you make a one single mistake on this particular lab then you have to just simply restart the lab so i request you please pay attention while completing this lab because i'm going to explain each and every point in detail so first of all just me log with your credentials and once done with that click on the task number one and just me scroll down over here and from here just me remember your region because we need the region in every step so first of all what you do come back over here just me search for the big query open this thing new tab and i will recommend you open all the services in new tab it will be very beneficial for you now just me click on this done now click on this task you can see this add data just me click over here now here just me search for the vertex ai like this way then click over here click over here again now for the connection id just me scroll down from here just me copy this id and make sure that while copying any name do not copy the full stop okay now just me copy like this paste over here like this way from here just me choose a region over here and from here just me choose your region for me the given region was us central one so i'm going to choose that for you it might be different so just me choose according to the lab page now just me click on this create connection like this way now here you can see go connection just me click on this okay from here you can see this service account so just me copy this account now here just me search for the iam open this thing new tab come back over here now just me click on this grant access now just me paste the service id which you just copy now for the role just me scroll down over here and from here you can see vertex ai user role copy that and paste over here like this way and it's done now just me click on the save button so you have done with all this part now what you have to do you have to just me copy this query so just me copy like this way come back over here click on this untitled query over here and paste like this just me wait we got a green tick and if you just me click on this run button over here just me wait and watch and as you can see we are getting this kind of error don't worry about this error it will take couple of minutes to execute the query so what i will recommend you move forward with the another task so just me come back to the task number two this task is very easy first of all what you do we have to just me copy this account so just me copy that okay now come back over here you can see this us central just me click over here click on the share icon now just me click on this add principle over here now just me paste the principle which you just copy like this way you can just me click on this blank space over here now for the role scroll down now just me copy this role carefully and as i said while copying anything from the lab instructions do not copy the full stop copy this over here and now just me search over here like this way so it's done now just me click on this save so we have this part over here now what you do we have to click on this continuous query so just me click on this close and you can see continuous query just me click over here like this way then click on the sharing then click on this permissions over here now wait now again click on this add principle now for the principal name just me scroll down now copy this principal over here and paste over here like this way then click on this roles now for the role just me copy this role carefully and search over here select that and then just me click on this save so we have done with all this part now what you do we have to go to the pub sub over here so just me click on this close now here just me search for the pub sub open this thing new tab come back over here and you can see one topic is already created for us so just me click on this three dot and from here just me click on this view permissions like this way just me wait if you want you can just me close all this unwanted pop-ups okay now again click on this add principle now on the pop up we have to add two roles remember that now just me scroll down first of all just me copy this service id and paste over here like this way now for the role just me copy this first role over here and paste over here and select that so it's done now the copy the second role and click on add another role select role paste the role save and then just me click on the save now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for this particular task you might have to wait for a couple of minutes as you can see we didn't get a score immediately now meantime what we will do we will just me come back over here and if you remember we have to run this query over here so what you do just me copy this query like this way and again just me paste and this time we got a green tick now again just me click on this run button over here this time you should get a output over here so as you can see our query is executed and we didn't get any kind of error okay 
Now just make a Mac over here. If I just check the score for the task number one, I will get a 20 out of 20 without any issue. And if I just check the score for the task number two as well, I will get a green tick over here. As you can see, I got a green tick. So that's mean we are done with the task number one and task number two. Now task number three is very lengthy, very confusing. So I request to please pay attention over here because I'm going to tell you the easiest way to complete this particular task. So first of all, what you do, we have to just make copy this application integration. So just make copy this and just me search over here make sure you have to open this thing in new tab like this way like this now from here just me choose the region for me the given region was US central one so I'm going to choose that you have to just me choose your lab instructions region so like this click on this quick setup and it's done now what you do just me click on this create integration okay now for the name just me scroll down and from here you can see this name so just me copy this and paste over here and then just me click on this create so it's done now okay click on this close okay now just me click on this triggers over here and from here just me choose the cloud pops up over here this one and just me drag and drop over here so you can see we have done all this part we have done all this part okay now just me copy this come back over here and you can see pops up topic just me paste over here like this way from here just me choose this account you can see this one if you are not able to find it just me click on this refresh over here otherwise what you can do you can just me come back over here copy this thing carefully and just me search over here like this way okay and it's done so just me choose this one so we are done with all this part okay now what you do make sure that we have to click on this grant button over here so you can see this grant access so just make give the role for each and everything and it's done so now what you do we have to add the data map and this is a very lengthy task so first of all just make come back over here click on this task and now here just make copy this data mapping and just make search over here select that and now just make drag and drop just below the trigger over here now just make select here and connect over here like this way this is the thing that you have to do and if you just check over here same thing mentioned over here as well okay now just me click on this name like this way then just me click on this open data mapping okay now here please pay attention first of all what you do we have to create input and output but what i will recommend you first create a output and after that create a input so just me click on this create a new output like this way now just me come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see message output just me copy that and just me search over here from here just me choose the output from integration that one and make sure that the data type must be the string okay now just me choose empty string and then just me click on this create so it's done now what you do we have to create a variable or value just me click over here like this way now just me scroll down from here just me copy this thing and as i said do not copy the last full stop copy that now paste over here select that that's the thing that you have to do for your first variable and it's done now what you do so we have done with all this part okay we have created the variable one now for the variable two again just me copy this name again come back over here click over here paste the name over here like this way from here just me choose output from integration make sure that it must be string then it should be empty string and then just me click on this create button and it's done now just me click on this create a variable now for the variable again just me copy the same thing copy that now just make paste over here select this and then just make click on the save so it's done now just make click on this plus button over here like this way now what you do just make copy this thing carefully do not copy the last full stop copy that now here if you're using a mac or if you're using a windows machine so just make press ctrl or command f like this way and just make search for this particular thing now it's added over here now again click on this add button now you have to do the same thing for gate property as well so just make copy this again control f control v and just me select that okay now you can see get property and you can see variable and value so just me click over here now for this particular thing you can see customer message so just me type customer message like this way and then just me click on the save so it's done now again just me come back over here and you can see we are done with all this part okay now we have to do the same thing for the variable 3 and variable 4 so first of all just me copy this customer email come back over here click over here let me just make click over here click over here now now just make paste 
from here just me choose output and it should be string empty string and create so it's created now just me copy this customer name again click over here paste the name from here just me choose output and string empty string and create so it's done now for the customer email click over here now now just me scroll up over here and from here you can see cloud storage pops up message data copy this thing and paste over here like this way now again click on the save so it's done now again click on this plus icon now here just me choose json to json to json to json like this way so it's done so it's added over here now again click on this plus icon now just me copy this get property over here and select over here like this way now here you can see customer email so just me click over here type customer email so click on the save this thing and this thing should be saved now again click on this variable again just me scroll up copy this thing again again just me search over here save save now what you do we have to just me click on this plus button now what you do we have to just me copy this thing carefully so just copy like this search here like this okay then copy this one and click on this plus icon again and this thing also done so this is a customer name so just me type customer and name customer and name and then click on the save make sure that your input and output should look like this otherwise you will not get a full score and once you're done with all this part just me click on this back over over here and it's done okay so we have done with all these things now what you do we have to create a task so we have done with all this part from here you can just me check over here now we have to create a task so first of all just me copy this thing carefully send email click on this task over here like this way search for the send email click over here and drag and drop over here like this just below from here just me select and connect over here like this so everything is done now what you do we have to just me map all these things so we have already done that now we have to just me input all these values over here so first of all just me click on the send email over here okay now here you can see two so just me scroll down over here and from here you can see customer email so just me copy this and then this me click on this variable and now just me paste over here select that and it's done now for the subject line for the subject line you don't have to click on the variable just me copy this subject over here and paste over here like this way now for the body format it should be html and for the body in the html this time you have to click on this variable like this way now for this scroll down and you can see customer message just me copy that and paste over here and then just me select that make sure that this format must look like this if it's so then only click on the publish button over here because if you come back over here and you can see we have done with all this part now just me click on this publish and just me wait if you have followed the instructions if you have done all the thing correctly then you will get a immediately score over here so just me wait for this thing and it's published now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for the task number three you will get a score immediately if you have make any kind of mistake then you have to just simply restart your lab you cannot do anything about that okay now task number four is very easy but little bit tricky so first of all just me come back to the big query over here so here is my big query and from here you can see capacity management just me click over here you can just me click on the sleeve do not worry about that okay now first of all just me copy this thing carefully click on this create reservation paste the name over here from here just me choose your region for me the given region was ua central one like this way from here just me choose the extra small 50 slots and here again type 50 okay it should look like this and then just me click on the save so just me wait and it's done now please remember one thing if you are not able to find your reservation make sure that from the location part you have to just me choose your location what happens suppose if i you choose the us over here then i will not able to find my reservation so just me choose your location over here like this way and then you are able to find it now just me click on this three dot and from here just me click on this create assessment over here now from here just me choose your project id like this way so it's done and for the 
job type it should be the continuous and then just simply click on this create now you can see it's done it will take a couple of minutes so you can just simply wait over here so we have done with all this part now just simply copy this query and then come back over here click on studio click on this untitled query and paste over here now please wait and watch so we can see we are getting this error now click on this more button from here just me choose a continuous query over here and then just me click on this confirm now just me wait it's reload and again we are getting the error now for this error again click on this more option again click on this query settings over here now just me scroll down and from here you can see service account just me click over here now here you have to just me copy this bq continuous but for the confirmation just me scroll down from here just me copy this account and paste over here just me select this and then just me click on the save so you can see we are done with all this part now you can see it's loading over here now what i will recommend you please wait until this show as a validate and everything will be show as a green tick otherwise what happen you will not get a full score on the lab okay so just me wait over here And finally you can see we got a green tick over here previously when i tried to move forward with another task that time we got an error and because of that i was not able to complete the lab okay so we can see we got a green tick now just me click on this run button over here it will take a couple of seconds and then you can just me move forward with the another task now here just me scroll down copy this query no need to do all these things just me copy this query come back and paste over here wait for a second and we got a green tick just me click on this run button over here it will take a couple of seconds so it's done now just me come back over here and from here you can see this task also loading now what you can do you can just me come back over here and just me check the score for the task number four and task number five let's see if we get a score here or not as you can see we got a score make sure that this query is going to run for forever because it's a continuous query okay and if you have followed the instruction the way i explained the lab then you are able to complete the lab on your first attempt i hope you guys like the way i explained this lab if you still have any doubts or any questions do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys